When I learned that this, this great image of Munch's scream uh, existed in a private collection, I was actually very surprised. As an auction house specialist, um, this was really the holy grail. I'll always remember the first time that I saw the work physically. I got off an aeroplane overnight from New York to Oslo. I was picked up by um, a dark car driven to one of the public buildings in, in Oslo. Uh, and I was sort of ushered to the, the back when I found the picture's owner admiring a mural. I said hello and he turned around to me and said, who's this by? And I think this was a test. Per Krog, I said to him. And he nodded gently. It set our relationship off on a good footing. Uh, we got back in the car and we traveled off to a secret location where there was a small room and this large wooden crate. And I remember the lid coming off and out of the open box, this orange aura poured out in a hallucinogenic way. Here was a picture that no eyes had set on for years. It's probably the most moving, um, emotional experience that I've ever had with, with a work of art. This was a picture which was a genuine masterpiece of global recognition and, and importance. So how do you estimate such a work? There were no precedents. My colleagues, Philip Hook and Lucian Simmons, with me, knew we were entering into unknown territory. We triangulated the, the results. We had lots of disagreements and arguments about this, subjective opinions. There was no right answer here. And we ended up with an estimate in excess of $80 million. There was great excitement about the picture, but for the only time in my career, um, half the commentators were saying, Sotheby's are crazy, it's worth half that. And the other half were saying, Sotheby's are crazy, it's worth double that. Well, it ended up selling for just a hair shy of $120 million. Indeed, we joked at the time that the day we sell the Mona Lisa, we'll have more fun, but it's unlikely that anything else is, is going to come close in the, the near future.